YouTube 12. Scanning. So this is the time when we cross all our fingers and toes, as the success of the year to come starts with today's results. I suppose it's a bit like waiting for exam results. You've done your best, done all the hard work and you can't do any more, and now the results are in. So back in the sheep pens the ewes await. They will run up the race and into a crate. Here the scan man uses his pregnancy scanner to show an image of the ewes uterus and what's inside. Plenty of lambs, I hope. So then a coloured mark is applied to the sheep's wool to represent the number of lambs detected by the scan. On this farm, a red mark is no lambs. A blue mark equals one lamb, a single. No mark equals two lambs, twins. An orange mark equals three lambs, triplets. And an orange and a blue mark would equal four lambs, quads. So then the scan man can shed the sheep to how we choose. So we're going to shed the barren ewes, those with no lambs, to the left along with those carrying triplets or above, and the twins and singles will be shed to the right. So sheep be sheep and follow each other, up the race to be scanned. The scan man is very experienced and very quick at his job, so myself and the rest of the team have to keep the sheep coming. So we all take turns at the jobs. One person filling the larger pens at the back of the shed, one filling the smaller end of the race, and one keeping them moving into the scanning crate. So we have three separate flocks today. The gimmers, the youngest mothers, the first time mums, hopefully, the commercials, which are an array of ages, and the pures. So the gimmers, being young stock, haven't experienced this before, so run quite rapid and with no questions up the race. The commercials, however, have some older ewes, which are wise to what's happening, so need a little more persuasion. I find the best way of pushing a ewe on is to apply pressure to the top of her tail. She will then move away from the pressure. So the scan man uses the handheld ultrasound scanner on the outside of the ewe's belly. This then relays a picture back to a video screen as such. From this, the scan man can identify the lambs. The lamb's bones show up white, and the spine is an often depictable image. So once all the lambs have been identified, the scan man gives the ewe the appropriate coloured mark, or no mark if she has twins, and also presses appropriate numbers on a handheld remote. This will then give us a count of all the sheep scanned and how many of those are carrying one, two, three and so on lambs. So all scanning done and the results are in. A ewe with twins scans at 200%. So ideally, as sheep only have two teats, two lambs are plenty. So the scan result gives an average scanning percentage. Therefore, the nearer 200%, the better, as this means that averagely there are more ewes carrying twins. Just what we want. So our result? 179%. We are very pleased with this, this is a very good result.